Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tiny Tim's Minis. This week we're going to be making super simple, really easy to make, making yourself beginner, Bigfoot diorama. If you haven't guessed yet, my name's Tim. Welcome to Tiny Tim's Miniatures, where we make a miniature out of anything. This week we're going to be making a Bigfoot diorama. Like I said, super simple to make. Tried out a few new techniques that I haven't done before. We're going to be focusing on the cryptozoology type animals in the next couple videos. But you know what? Bigfoot's got to be first. Anytime you think of mythical creatures, probably a unicorn pops in the head. But second, probably Bigfoot. Let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's get into it. We're going to start off our search for Bigfoot in our Tebo Minis. We're looking for a man that's got his struck going. We're going to glue him down on a base so that he's easy to work with. Then I give him a base coat of light brown and let him dry. For the base, I'm going to be using one by one blocks that I make out of plaster of Paris. Bigfoot is a furry fellow, so in order to pull this off, I start with a base coating of PVA glue. Then I grab some flock grass and sprinkle it over top of him. I paint his fur a light brown, making sure I don't have any green showing through. I'm trying to copy the image on the top left of the screen. I want it to look just like the famous photo of our master social distancing. I grabbed some plaster rocks I made and start figuring out where I want my scenery to be placed. I use sculpt mold to build up the base of the diorama. I eyeball the mixture, then I spread it all over the blocks. And before it dries, I put my stones in so they look seamless in the scenery. Once the sculpt and mold dries, I add a layer of watered down Mod Podge mixed with black paint. This gives the sculpt and mold some extra protection. Once that is dried, I start painting the rocks. I start with a gray, add a black wash, then I add some brown and greens in there to make it blend more with the future scenery. Then I do a dry brushing of white to add some highlights. I paint the ground with an earthy brown. Add a layer of PVA glue. Then I lay down my foundation of dirt to set the scene. The 
picture isn't clear where or if there is grass, but I felt it would add some nice color to the otherwise brown scene. I grab my static grass applicator and start adding my tufts. Now it's time for the finishing touches. I tried to recreate the picture with some different pieces of wood and then added some grounded up leaves and sticks. I wanted to add a nice frame to bring it all together, so I grabbed some balsa wood strips and started cutting. Get that frame added on and boom. I think this was quite the success. I really enjoyed how this turned out. I really like how Bigfoot came out. I was surprised how well putting some little flock grass on him and just gluing it, teased it up a little bit. Looked beautiful. Uh, again, really super simple technique. It looks really simple idea. Pulled off really well, I think. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. I put out a new video on the 1st and 15th of each month. So hit that subscribe button as well as hit that bell to get a notification when that new video comes out. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, make sure you do so at Tiny Tim's Minis. Uh, if there's anything you want to see in miniature, make sure you comment down below. One of your comments might inspire me to make a new miniature. You never know. All right. Well, I will see you guys next time. Finger guns, bew, bew, bew. Ha, ha, ha.